Hi folks, Khan here from Audio Advisor, and today I wanted to talk to you about a brand new product from Cocktail Audio, and that's the N15 Network Player Streamer DAC and Headphone Amplifier. So yes, this unit does do a cocktail of digital audio uh, needs. Now, we did have a chance to play with this before we uh, shot this video, so I did want to point out some of the features. First of all, the unboxing uh, uh, Experience was fairly nice, nice thick cardboard box, uh, decent uh, packaging foam on the inside, and then my personal favorite, uh, a cloth bag. I really like when uh, my electronics come in cloth bags, ensures they don't get scratched, and it does, does always kind of tells me the manufacturer kind of takes care of the product for me really well. Now, on the front of the unit, I don't have much. It's a very simple, small chassis, which I kind of like. You have your stainless steel power button uh, right here in the corner. And then this unit is your volume and your mute, so it does press in to mute it. Uh, USB 2.0 port for ease of access, like USB, uh, smartphones, things of that nature. And a headphone output uh, that's a quarter-inch headphone uh, to be able to listen to it directly with headphones. So you don't need any other equipment, just this unit. Now, on the back of the unit, you have your power. This is a C5. Uh, in this demonstration, we are actually going to use the brand new AC14 XL Mark II edition. Uh, that does get terminated in an IEC standard, so I did use an adapter uh, that brings it into a C5 configuration so I can take advantage of the high quality uh, uh, copper that's in that power cable. Uh, very, very beefy RCA outputs. I like that cocktail and introduced that. Uh, USB port in the back for digital devices, a USB 3.0. I'm glad they introduced that. So you, if you have a large hard drive, you can transfer data much quicker with a 3.0 connection. Ethernet network connection. Um, USB mini here, I'm sorry, USB micro here uh, to connect to your PC directly. So if you want to use this as a DAC, you can connect it directly to it. And then also digital outputs. So if you do have your own DAC and want to use this just as a network server, Cocktail Audio thought of you and introduced that. Now you're probably wondering, what is this part here? This is something really, really cool and Cocktail really thought uh, above and beyond the Call of Duty. This is actually a hard drive slot. So you can actually install a two and a half inch SSD or HDD drive. So if you have a nice external drive, uh, I'm sorry, internal drive, you can load this in here. Now, other than putting your own music on it, playing your own music through the unit, you also have the ability to record internet radio because this unit is a network streamer. So if you have a favorite radio station you'd like, you can actually record and save that music directly into this. Uh, let us get this unit set up and we'll be right back and talk about some of the other features as well. Now that we're back and we have the Cocktail Audio N15 set up, I wanted to go over some of the features that this unit offers. Uh, like I had mentioned, it is a USB DAC. The DAC that's on board this unit is a high performance Sabre ES9018 KM2 reference DAC. So very high quality, very precise, gives you good detail, a lot of fun to listen to. As a network player, you have access to streaming services like Tidal, Cubaz, Deezer. Uh, the unit is extremely powerful. There is a dual core ARM Cortex A9 processor on board that's operating at one gigahertz, extremely fast. Now, controlling the unit, you have two ways of accessing it. One, there is a web interface. So if you don't have a smart application, you can access it via a web app. Uh, basically, you just uh, go to your web browser, type in the Cocktail Audio credentials, and it will bring you right to the interface of the unit. Very intuitive, very user friendly. Now, if you prefer to use a smart application, Cocktail Audio has you covered there. They offer a free download both for the Android and iOS uh, platforms. It's called the Novatron Music X app. It is a free download. It's very intuitive. That was the method I used to interface with this unit, and we'll show you on camera on how to browse through the app. I found it to be very user friendly uh, and intuitive. All right, as you can see, the, the app is very, very well laid out, easy to use, uh, music database, browser, playlists on iServices, easy to use. Now, music database, we don't have, that would be if you had a NAS drive or network service or server, uh, you would go to that key to access your music. Uh, if you wanted to access the music on the internal hard drive, that would be the key that you would press. Now, since I'm using an external, or in this case, a thumb drive, I'm gonna go to browser. And what you'll see here is network access and then my my browser there and it'll automatically start giving me my music all right now one thing I did wanted to point out when I noticed was in my music there's really no way to select 
multiple tracks. You can only select one at a time. Well, I thought that was not really well designed. Well, I found a solution. It's actually up here They're on the three little stripes. You go ahead and press that. And it says select music mode. And then what you can do is you can actually select the songs that you want that are in this folder. And then once you're done, you go to the little check mark that's up here. Go ahead and press that and it will ask you a variety of different things. Do I want to play this next? Do I want to play it now? Do I want to save the list? Really gives you a lot of uh, uh, controllability over your music and it will play automatically. Now this is my player control screen. My volume is right here as a slide bar. Uh, contents obviously very uh, well labeled and uh, if I wanted to repeat all, repeat the one track or do random. Uh, and then down here in the bottom is also other quick connects that I can pre-program to go back to my library, music database, so on and so forth. Now, playlists would be if I actually, once I selected and saved it, my saved playlist will be easily accessible. And then iService is if I had access to any of the streaming services uh, like Cubuzz or Tidal or uh, internet radio. And you would just go in there, and if I had my credentials logged in, it would go to the next screen. So, and then last year down at the bottom, um, if you go down to uh, Virtual re uh, Recon, what you can do, again, this only would work if you had uh, the external hard drive built in. You press here, and then you can actually select record, and the Cocktail Audio N15 will actually start recording your music stream, uh, I'm sorry, your internet music streaming services only. That's features only there for that. So Tidal and QNAP, it won't work. It'll only work on your internet streaming services. Um, so I found this to be very intuitive. I think it was really well laid out. Just a few minutes with the app, and I was, uh, well versed on all the functionality of the N15 and I was well on my way to listening to music. So I had a great experience uh, working with the Cocktail Audio N15. I thought it was extremely easy to use. It had a great sound with that Sabre uh, DAC on board, and it had an incredible well-versed library of digital sources from streaming to being a DAC, uh, to be able to play music off of uh, the network. Uh, and then the fact that it can use, yeah, I can use it as a preamplifier and as a headphone amp just adds that much more value to the product. Uh, setting up was fairly intuitive, uh, and, and I really did enjoy it. everything from unboxing to setting it up. The Cocktail N15 was a lot of fun. Thank <laughs> you.